It's fan service time! Hello, welcome to another figure review. Today we're gonna have a look at the snail shell Victoria. Two figures for the price of one, not really, but this is also called the Front Armored Girl. Why is that name? Because she's not wearing anything in the back. And yes, you do get the lingerie version and the battle version, or as I like to call her, the battle nun. I love this design. Haven't gotten any snail shell, this is the first time I dip my toes into that line they got a lot of cool designs with this one this one really just caught my eye immediately as i love the armored version and then of course i love me some fan service so without further ado let's have a look at the figures sizes of both victorias because she does gain some size in her armor mode because of the high heels Let's have a look at the lingerie mode, the light mode, or whatever. 13, a little over 13 centimeters to the top of the hat, which means we are going up to a little over 5 inches tall. For the other version, we're going up to 14 and a half. Almost the same, though. That didn't really have that much of an impact as I thought. Like, looking at them side by side, I thought it was, less, it was more. And uh, it goes a little over 5.5 if you're looking at your inches. Size comparisons. Here's Jolter, the SH Figure Arts Son Goku, my previous review, the SH Figure Arts 2B figure, Tosho Lincho Son, and Dark Side. Looking at the figures individually, I'm gonna start off with um, this one. The light mode, the lingerie mode, the nude mode, whatever you wanna call it. I love the design of the head in general. You do have a beautiful hair sculpt with the braid going around it and the headband with the little golden decorations on the side. What I'm not the biggest fan of is how they made the hair. It's like the seafood plastic which uh, you can see a lot more on the lower half where it becomes pretty much all see-through. And I just prefer it to have it painted so I mean that's neither here nor there. I don't think it's a bad thing, it's just a personal preference. And then we also have metallic in the hair. You can see the sparkly stuff in it, which, again, it's kind of weird to have sparkly hair, but it's a freaking action figure, so not really complaining, just something that I'm not the biggest fan of, depending, depending on the figure. And then we have the beautiful eyes, which pop, have like the, um, the yellow, which is really bright, and I think it, it fits with the gold on the side. Have like the golden eyes and a shy smile. Then, the entire body mold is obviously made to be fan servicey. She's very thick in the thigh area, and the boba are nicely sized. Not too big, not too small, just in the middle. What, however, bothers me about this are the shoulders. Like, no matter how I put them, you can pull it up and down, can move it around. Well, we'll get to that in detail. I don't think they look right, no matter how I pull them. If I pull them all the way up, they stand out weirdly. If I pull them like in the middle, then we have a little bit of a gap, and obviously I pull them down, that doesn't work. So, uh, as much like as fan service as it should be, they could have like really made it a little bit more seamless, I feel like. And then we also have the bra and the armbands, which does have some molded detail in there, which you can barely see, but I mean they did some, so I appreciate it. The one thing I'm kind of not really bothered by, but you put it, you painted it brown. Is that the one? color you can think of brown and um, yeah moving on to the entire crotch piece is soft plastic as such it does have a little bit of a different color than the rest of the skin you can tell it you can see a lot more under the camera and you see it in real life but yeah also she has a very 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 small thong which is clenched between her butt cheeks so we do have that and uh, yeah the fan service doesn't stop guys down to the legs, which is kind of ruined by actually too much articulation. First, I don't like the fine swivels. Second, I don't like the toe hinges. But still, fan service enough. It's a nice, fairly simple, but good looking figure. But what we're really here for, what I'm really here for, unless you're really that horny that you just wanted this, sure, that's fine. I'm not condemning you. But I want to have a look at Victoria in her armor version. We do have obviously the same head sculpt, but a uh, different face. This one seems to be sticking out the tongue a little bit. I'm not really sure about it. And then we have the whole veil thing going on. I'm quite busy, but I mean like, I feel like it's a little bit too big, but I like that it's real cloth. And uh, for those of you asking, no, it's not removable. And then we do have still the fan service in the back of the figure. 
all of these parts are soft plastic, but we'll, we'll get to that because I want to talk about these shoulder pads. I don't, well, not the shoulder pads itself, but the hinges connecting them. This, let me point to this one. This sucks. This part sucks so bad. It looks ugly. Why is it sticking out so hugely? And why is it painted? No, well, not painted. Why they molded it in the flesh tone and not have it the same color? And why have it at all? Why not put a big ball joint on the top over here, connect this directly to it? Why do you have this? It's ugly. It's awful. It blocks the entire head sculpt and it's not great. So, uh, also popped off immediately. Overall, this entire figure just felt a lot more flimsy. And I'm not saying it fell apart as I took it out of the box, no. But as I move it around, you have this disconnecting. You have these pads disconnecting. You have the lag kind of disconnecting. And you have the hat, which is kind of floppy. So, nothing breaks off, but really playing around with this figure is a bit of a bitch. Now, back to the figured hand. I want to have a look at the detail. Because the paint on here, and uh, I feel like there's a decent amount of paint on this figure. It's nicely done, it's clean, there's nothing that goes over the line, even like the red dots and whatever the camera or whatever she has on the shoulder pads. The detail in there is very nicely done, tiny, tiny writing. Some of it is just really blurry though, especially on the color. We don't really see anything in there. And then also, I have the armor parts with a little bit of gold on this side. And really thin line work, I mean, it looks great paint-wise. Also, we do have a little bit of different detail on this side. A little bit more gold armband. And also, there's some magnets on there. There's something about a magnet. I haven't read through it yet, but uh, we'll get to that. When we get to the articulation, and then you have these pads on the side. I don't want to know how to call it armor pads. Which, as I mentioned, all indiv individually articulated. But it's kind of flimsy. But it looks good. So... I don't know, also a little bit of paint on there and some more red on the lower half, some arrows and whatnot. It's kind of standard stuff for some armor. Like, always put arrows on your armor. I don't know, they point to, um, I don't want to get into that. They point down ones. They point, yeah, that. And we have the soft plastic pieces on the side over here. Flappy, don't get in the way. I'm not bothered by that. That's fine. As we move down to the entire kind of shoe piece, boot piece. Once again, not covered in the back have a little bit of gold line work in there, which is really cool. I mean, you don't really see that much attention to detail to something that you're not even going to notice unless you turn the figure around. So that's nice. And we do have the high heels and some more armor plating on the front part. So overall, I mean, I'm a fan of design. I just wish it was a little bit sturdier. So for your articulation, I'm going to have a look at the, uh, the nude version first, and uh, then we'll have We'll see how much of an impact the, the armor has on everything going on. So the hat is also fairly loose, it's just like a double ball pack. It does go forward, it does go to the back, it does tilt side to side, and it does go all the way around. Then for the shoulders, yeah, you do have a hinge in there and a ball joint, kind of like a Figma. However, you don't really have that much range in there, it's mostly to up and down, back and forth. does have a little bit, and obviously the hinge goes up nicely enough, and you can also swivel that part. You do also have a bicep swivel, nicely hidden. Then you have the double hinged elbows, very much appreciated. And the ball hinge in the hand, which I uh, don't want to focus on there, but there is a ball hinge. It's just a very standard stuff. Then for the chest area, goes back and forth, nice enough. Doesn't really leave any gaps, just a little bit in the back. And does tilt side to side, and also can be swivel, not quite all the way around. Maybe if you push it but I don't want to have those unnatural poses anyway. Then the lower half, unfortunately, is a lot more problematic. Well, I say problematic, but it takes some playing around. Does go back and forth quite nicely, but as you can tell, the entire crotch piece is just moving up and down. But it's like a double-edged sword. It's kind of annoying when you're moving it around, but it also prevents you from having ugly gaps. Like if I'm holding on to it, the, the back, ha back half, likes to disconnect of course it doesn't really do it right now but still we do have the uh, the butt mold kind of moving around weirdly enough but it also does give us a good look on the insides of the cheeks actually you do have a weird kind of double ball pack hinge but and it goes at an angle as such you can okay this I didn't want to do this but it moves out quite nicely and then you can tell 
you have the double combination in there. You can rotate it on the top half and then once again on the lower half. So it's quite nimble, goes up for some high kicks. Doesn't really go to the back unless you get it in like a specific angle. And also the butt mode gets in the way. Can't really move it forward with that. So back one movement, not really there so much. Out to the side and also can be rotated on there. No problem with that. And then you have a five swivel, which I don't like and also just like loves to pop off. Then we have the double hinged knees very nicely and the foot also a little bit too much I feel like you do have the ball hinge in there which is nice you can pivot that side to side and you can also rotate it on the upper half but then you have a toe hinge which just bothers me it looks so weird the toes look nice I mean with everything else just like why do you have a toe hinge on there now we go over to Victoria in her armor mode so the hat is super duper limited only goes back and forth a little bit almost doesn't tilt side to side because it's clashing with the shoulder pads the hair pins or whatever you want to call it it's really problematic moving the head around at all because you're constantly clashing with these big ugly shoulder pads which they shouldn't have done then you have the veil also has a tiny wire on the uh, on the lower half over here unfortunately not on the side so you don't really get to pose or like really battle flowing in the wind pose or whatever like I, like I like to call it then for the shoulders you still have the rotation in there that actually works it does go up and down also fairly enough because the uh, entire shoulder weird shoulder joint over here has its own kind of hinge so it does stay in place and doesn't rotate with the shoulder at least they did that correctly and then we have a tiny tiny ball joint in there which likes to pop off. I, I hate this joint. And the bicep swivel is still fully intact on this version, obviously. And then we have the double hinged elbow. This is somewhat blocked by all the mold in there. And then you have the ball hinge in there. Standard stuff doesn't really change as much. For the entire chest area, you still get nice back and forth motion. And you also have a double hinges on the boba. Yes, I think they are actually connected to her nipples. They can move this up and down. Would have been nicer if they put have had uh, if they would have put a like a ball joint in there. But regardless, at least it does free up a little bit of articulation. I haven't really figured out how much it really does, but yeah, I mean I appreciate it, I guess. Side to side, and we barely have a swivel because it's just clashing with all the armor, obviously in there. And then we have these side panels, which are pretty cool. You have like the long pack in there with the ball in on it. But you do also have like hinges individual on each and every one on these lower halves. There's one over there, one over there, and one over there. So you move that, can move that up, can move that down nicely. Although they also love to pop out of it. But yeah, and also we have on the front part, we have some more hinges. Again, I don't really know what this accomplishes because you have the entire hip part. Let me hold on to this. You have the entire hip part, which is barely movable anymore at this point which wait did they not even oh they didn't even do it you don't even have a diaper part so hip don't really move and uh, the legs also are completely blocked by the front piece over here again would have been nicer on just the ball joint or if you had another hinge uh, hidden under there but you don't so the legs you do still move them out in an angle that works doesn't really go to the back but um, sides still works because this is all soft plastic all like a little flubbery <laughs> I don't know what and then you can also rotate it on there you don't have a five swivel over here which I just find weird the five swivel would have worked a lot better because you now have something molded on there and wouldn't have looked as ugly and we have the double hinged knees and the feet also a lot more convoluted because of the high heels you still have the ball hinge in there still have somewhat of a pivot not as good it's kind of, I think this one is more in an angle or like the mold of the foot of the uh, of the shoe is a little bit more complicated. Still swivels on the top part and you also have this little armor piece which can be moved around just on a ball and then you still have the toe hinge which goes up and down and I don't like it. So it still works but it's obviously a lot more blocked. So for your accessories let's have a look at the snail shell base. I mean it's nice and sturdy actually and you also have access to the screws. So I just wanted to mention that because it's always nice to have those to tighten things up. The claw I feel like is a little big but again this actually this is a lot more sturdy than the figure itself. And also 
you get a second one because you have two figures and you also have some replacement parts let's see where was it at the back over here little packs and whatnot if that breaks off very much appreciated really something cool i feel like not not a lot of companies do that well like figma you get like one replacement pack but for buzzmon you got a couple i, well, I keep on saying buzzmon it's snail shell i'm sorry um company i haven't gotten anything yet from except this one then we have the face gods one just kind of angry face and the other winky face or kind of like a shy smile and what's interesting about this is you actually have a movable eye feature i did not even notice that because usually i'm not the biggest fan of movable eye features but since i didn't even notice it on this one since the eyes are so shiny and there's really not much to to notice it because like with amazing yamaguchi figures yeah, I feel like always the, the movable eye face plates don't look as good as the other ones. But yeah, you basically put this in, you have this, and then you move it around and then you wiggle it around. And something about the instructions may be saying like you put it on the front and maybe wiggle it around some more. I don't know, the instructions are in Japanese, so I couldn't tell you all the details about it. Then we do have some hands where I don't know why this one went off. So we do have the one for the glove. And weird thing about the hands is only basically trigger fingers. Like bigger ones or smaller ones. And you have another one for this side. Another trigger finger. Yeah, that's really it. It's just trigger finger hands, which I find weird. Like, yeah, she has a big gun, but you only have the open hands and the trigger finger hands now. You don't have fist hands, you don't have like a pointy finger or whatnot, so that's unfortunate. Actually, let me have a look at the huge ass rifle first has some nice detail on there i already got the hand on that just to show you um the hole for the trigger finger is actually pretty small but it does give it a better grip so i'm not too mad about it so you do have that got some nice gold in the back and once again the paint job is good i don't see anything that's uh going over line or bleeding so also you can take the blade off if you don't want that and you just use it as that and you also take the bullets the clip can't take that out but i'm gonna leave it in because what's a gun without bullets and finally i keep this for last because you do have the a i i guess shield i don't know um has uh this little thing on there a chain which is actually not a chain it's plastic but it looks cool nonetheless and in the back we got some more gold and there is the magnet now i don't know if you're supposed to take this plate off or not again instructions can't really read it and it's very unclearly but there is a magnet in there and there's a magnet over there Boop. you put it on the forearm and there you go it actually stays on there quite nicely obviously if you're doing too much posing and if you're playing around with it it's gonna fall off but still i like this kind of stuff the magnet it fits on there nicely and it works so kudos to that and that's really it for the accessories final thoughts and you want to know what's funny when i do these final thoughts how many times do i open with well this figure is pretty expensive i don't get the feeling with this one i think snail shell is definitely onto something here i think value wise i mean you're getting two figures a bunch of cool accessories and some cool designs obviously one figure is basically naked but still i feel at the price point um you're getting your money's worth. You're getting something you play around with in both ways. And the figures itself, as I was saying, they're not perfect, but the paint is amazing. Everything that's on there is nice. I love the designs and they make their own design. So that's really cool also, something unique to stand out for. Uh, movable eye accessory is fun, especially if it doesn't, you know, if the eyes don't look so weird on the face plates, which they usually do, but not for these figures. And then we got the articulation, which again, I feel like is fine. Could have been improved in some aspects. Could have you could have removed those ugly joints on the uh, on the shoulders. However, the one thing that kind of gets to me with these figures is the um, a little bit of flimsiness, a little bit of frailness on the on the joints. I posing, especially the Armand version, is not fun. At least not for me. I don't know. I constantly have things popping off, falling off, and then she doesn't hold the pose as well as I would like her to. If if they tighten up their joints, really tighten up their joints, I think we got a winner here. I'm like really impressed 
buy my very first snail shell and I kind of want to look into maybe getting another one. I love the size also, it fits very well with your Figmas if you're into that and yeah, I think I'm wrapping this up over here because I do recommend this one. Again, joints are the big issue for me. Everything else, I mean, don't have too much to complain about and that's really nice. So recommended that's gonna do it guys as usual thank you very much for watching don't forget if you enjoyed this review hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for figure views card game stuff and whatever victoria wants <laughs>